Grazie, onorevole Zimmer. Ora per il gruppo Verde la parola all'onorevole Lambert. Mr. Prime Minister, it's a real pleasure to welcome you here. You've demonstrated again uh, in your speech the depth of your country's and your own commitment to the European project. We all got familiar with your name at the occasion of the Brexit debate. And Ireland is obviously the member state that will be most affected by it, not just for economic reasons, but because this is about peace on the island. Let me just say this. We are at your side on this. Letting violence erupt again in Ireland would not just spell disaster for the con concerned communities, but it would be a narrow through Europe's heart because the European Union is and remains a peace project. Brexit is a challenge we could have avoided, but it should not detract us from those challenges that are existential to the future of Europe. And allow me, Taoiseach, to mention two of them that I find particularly relevant to Ireland. First, our societies will need to find ways to live within the biophysical constraints that nature sets us. There's simply no way around it. And Europe has a choice here, either to become leaders in the ecological transition of our societies, thereby becoming solution providers to the rest of the world, or to stick with the past, thereby becoming solution takers from the rest of the world. From a young entrepreneurial prime minister such as you, I would expect the first option. Yet, Tishok, your government has been solely lacking ambition on tackling climate change. You said when you became prime minister that climate action would be your first priority. Yet, it doesn't really show. Ireland, this year, Ireland was ranked as Europe's worst performer in tackling climate change. It's one of only two countries in the EU that will miss its 2020 emission reduction targets. And now your government seeks special deals and exemptions to, from quite modest 2030 targets. On a similar line, Prime Minister, your government opposes the waste reduction bill proposed by the Irish Greens, which aims just at bring, bringing your country on a par with the best practices across Europe on the way to a more circular economy. Come on, Taoiseach, with its abundant resources of renewable energy. Ireland has the potential to be a pioneer in the green transformation. Your countries and Europe's prosperity depend on it. You will hardly be surprised by the second topic that I want to raise, which is, of course, taxation. If we want our single market and single currency to thrive and to deliver benefits to all and not just the richest, we need to stop this race to the bottom on taxation and on social protection. And you know that Ireland often comes to the fore as a tax haven for corporates. Of course, you would argue, and I would agree with you, that several member states offer real taxation rates to multinationals that are way lower than the Irish nominal 12.5%. And you would say, that Ireland should be allowed to find ways to make up for a geographical disadvantage. I agree with all of this. But surely, the alternative cannot be between a one-size-fits-all taxation system that would work for the central, big and core European countries to the detriment of everyone else, and a no-holds-barred tax competition that we have right now. And instead of playing the whole dot, instead of fighting European Commission decisions in court, I would expect Ireland to be at the core of efforts to better cooperate on tax matters in order to give tax justice a chance in Europe. It is not just our excessive ecological footprint, but also ballooning inequalities that threaten the very existence of our civilized societies. Taoiseach, the European project is about establishing a lasting peace on our continent, through shared prosperity on the one hand, and on the other through anchoring our societies in the values of freedom, democracy, and human rights. And I'm very glad that your government wants to ensure the right of women to control their own bodies. I hope that the upcoming referendum will allow your country to make progress in that direction at a time where we see progress in the other direction in too many parts of Europe. Taoiseach, if you can deploy the same leadership on the ecological transition and on tax justice that the one that you deploy here, you will have done a lot for the European Union. I'm sure you can do it. Thank you.